Good morning. I uh, wanted to take this opportunity to again unreservedly apologize for my decision to travel during the holidays. Um, I know that I disappointed a lot of people. I hope people appreciate I've disappointed no one more than myself. Later on today, I'm going to be speaking with uh, Premier Ford. Um, I know that people are understandably angry about the situation. I do hope to be able to regain their confidence in the days and weeks and months ahead. I'd be happy to take your questions. Yeah, Mr. W welcome home. Uh, first off, as you can imagine, there's been a lot of uh, people talking about uh, what, what you've just admitted to doing. And the question that uh, all of them are asking is, what were you thinking? I've been asking myself the same thing over the last, uh, last number of uh, days. Obviously, I made a significant error in judgment, and I will be accountable for that. I do not make any excuses uh, for the fact that, uh, that I traveled when we shouldn't have traveled. And I think uh, you know, the one thing that I hope is that I'll be able to regain the confidence of the people of Ontario. I think there's a lot of work that still needs to be done, and I would like to be a part of that. And, and the Premier said that you didn't tell him you were going. Uh, why? And were you trying to keep that a secret? Listen, uh, Premier Ford has far more important things to do than worry about uh, the travel of his, uh, of his ministers or the people who work for him. Uh, as I said, this was my decision. It was a serious error in judgment. The blame is mine, and the blame is mine alone. And many people are commenting, sir, on, uh, on your tweets. Was this an effort to keep the trip a secret? Were you trying to kind of fool people into believing you were home? Listen, I, I understand why some people believe that's the case. It is not. Uh, many politicians, I would almost say most politicians, pre-program and pre-record a lot of their social media content. Uh, I did that to promote Ajax businesses, uh, to promote the COVID-19 supports that we have uh, for small businesses across the province, and to wish my constituents a holiday greeting. That said, I understand in the circumstances why it uh, seemed insincere, and I apologize for that, but it was not the intention. So, just to be clear, there was no, there was no intent to... In deceive anybody with regards to those photos? There's no, again, many, many politicians use that pre-programmed on Christmas Eve. They don't all tape their Christmas Eve greetings. Uh, they tape them before. That's what I did. Sir, will you resign? You know, I think that there's a lot of uh, work still to be done in the province. Um, but finally, um, that is one of the things that I'll be talking to the Premier about today. Um, I understand that my actions have angered a lot of people and I have to earn back that confidence. I think that there's very important work that still needs to be done, and, uh, and I'd like to continue to be a part of that. Um, but, uh, but, you know, I do understand. People are angry. They deserve to be angry. Uh, I have to earn back that confidence. So is there a possibility that you may, it may come to a resignation? Listen, I, I said, I, it, it is finally up to the Premier who serves in the Premier's Cabinet, as it should be. Uh, and I understand uh, his disappointment. Um, I want to express to him you know, obviously, as I have already and as I have here, my, my apology for this, it's sincere. I think I can still make an important contribution. Uh, but finally, that's part of the discussion I'm sure I'll have with the Premier, and appropriately, it's up to the Premier. And has the Premier asked you to resign as of yet? Uh, we have not talked about it, no. And uh, lastly, sir, do you feel that the, uh, the lockdown rules didn't apply to you? I mean, I'm just trying to get some answers for people as to you being the, the Minister of Finance. Um, again, as to what you were thinking, did you feel that it didn't apply to you or what was your thoughts? Of course it did and, and of course that's now why I'll be going to, to Ajax to quarantine for 14 days. Uh, but your first question, which is the question I've been asking myself, um, it was a, you know, a significant uh, error in judgment, uh, a dumb, dumb mistake. Uh, and, uh, and again, uh, I apologize for it, I uh, regret it, um, but all I can do now is make that apology and move forward. Okay, thank you for that. And is there anything you'd like to say to the people of Ontario that you haven't said, sir? I, again, just repeat a very, very deep apology. Uh, people are working very hard. Um, I have to say, because I have the opportunity as well, just having come through customs, it was great to see the Canada border people taking the quarantine information very seriously. I know decisions have been made about moving on to having testing, which I think is a very positive step forward. But I have to just compliment the, the border officials. Uh, I don't think it was just because it was me, but you know, every person who was going through, they were making sure they knew about the quarantine, had filled in their forms. So again, another group of people working on the front lines really hard. We should always thank them. Thank you very much.